G'day guys, Greg here. Now today I'm off to both Hungry Jacks and McDonald's to try their Big Macs. It, it, well, in, in the case of Hungry Jacks, this is called a Big Jack. And well, they did have a lawsuit and everything about that name, but uh, they did win and they brought it back. So how about we whip inside and suss out who's got the biggest one, the best one, the best value, the best tasting. Let's go get them and find out. All right, well, here we go. The Hungry Jack's Big Jack and the McDonald's Big Mac. Now, the Big Jack was $9.55 and the Big Mac was $7.65. So $1.90 different in price already. But I'm wondering which one weighs the most. Well, let's find out with the scale test. Okay, well, with the Big Mac, well, that's only about 240 grams. And the Big Jack, well, that's only about 230 odd grams, nearly 240. So they're both very similar in weight, but the Hungry Jack's one costs nearly $2 more. And that doesn't even take into account that McDonald's has got a grand Big Mac, which is about the same price as the Big Jack, but it's even bigger. Well, I think McDonald's has won that comparison test. But let's crack both these bags open and suss out what they look like on the inside. Well, I think we all know what a Big Mac looks like. <laughs> that's what it looks like. And that's quite pretty, isn't it? Now, the Big Jack... All right, well, it's hard to tell the difference. If somebody handed you one of these each, I'm sure you wouldn't even know the difference, would you? They both look exactly the same. Well, let's check out the construction. So the Big Jack, well, it's got your mayo and lettuce, a piece of beef, and the bun. And then it's got some more mayo, lettuce, piece of cheese, and a piece of beef with the bun underneath and the Big Mac okay well that's just got some onion there with the beef and the cheese and lettuce underneath and then under there it's it's got the beef with the cheese and the mayo and lettuce there so they're they're both the same but they it's like the ingredients have been reversed <laughs> that's probably for copyright reasons Mate, they're, they're literally identical, these things. No wonder McDonald's took Hungry Jacks to court. <laughs> but as far as visual goes, well, I think the Big Jack looks better than this Big Mac. But it's not all about visuals, is it? It's about the taste. How about I start off first with this Big Mac? Try some of their sauce. Yep. Tastes like Big Mac sauce. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very saucy. That sauce really does overpower this burger. And well, they taste all right, don't they, the old Big Mac? Kind of, sort of. What about the Big Jack? This one actually looks all right. <laughs> it's probably one of the best looking burgers I've had from Hungry Jack's in a long time. Now let's find their sauce. Hmm. Yeah, it's not as strong. It tastes like they've put some dill in it. I do like dill in a sauce, so hopefully this one will taste a bit better. Mmm. This one has got that beautiful flame grilled Hungry Jack's burger meat flavour to it as well. Mmm. But it kind of tastes like every one of their other burgers. 
It's actually a little bit bland and a little bit boring tasting. Hmm. Tastes okay, but it's definitely not blowing me away. Let's try the Big Mac again. Hmm. The sauce is just so completely different. And the meat for that matter. The Big Mac seems to have that homely old school taste that, you know, brings back so many memories and those flavours that, even though they're not great, I mean, let's face it. It's just something about the Big Mac with its sauce and the meat that just tastes very nice. Mm. If by very nice I meant a little bit bland and boring. But let me try the Big Jack again. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that one's just as bland and just as boring. They might be completely the same burgers, but they're completely different at the same time. So I'm, I'm wondering which one the old Grego rates the best. Well, the Big Mac, well, that's a, just a classic old taste. It was $7.60 something, and well, it just tastes like a Big Mac. <laughs> it's actually pretty good, you know, it's got that sort of funny flavour in their sauce and well you know a little bit bland a little bit boring but still you know what you're getting and what you're getting is pretty average but it tastes all right the big jack well that's got that beautiful whopper taste about the meat that we all love the sauce in it though it's got that dill flavour and well it is nice but it hasn't got this tanginess that the Whopper has, and it's a little bit bland and boring tasting. It sort of just tastes like every one of their other burgers that they bring out. Now, they both weighed the same weight, but the Big Jack was actually dearer by $2. They're both kind of bland, they're both kind of boring, but the one that I sort of would come back again and get again, not that I'm going to be coming back and getting them again, but if I had to choose, the one I'd choose is... I think I'm going to go the Big Mac. It's just got that flavour about it. I mean, even though the flavour you might not like, but at least it's got some. Whereas the Big Jack is just a little bit more bland and boring, and the fact that it costs 30% more than the Big Mac, well, why would you get this over this? They both look exactly the same, they both got the same ingredients. But yeah, I think the Big Mac wins this one out of the Big Jacks and Big Macs competition. I'm kind of a bit surprised actually, I thought the Big Jack might just scrape it in, but yeah, after doing the two burger comparison, I mean, the Big Mac gets it today. So what do you reckon folks, have you tried both of them? Out of this comparison test, which one would you choose? I'd love to know. Actually, while I've got them both here, there is something I want to try. The Big Mac Jack. Don't try that at home, kids. Because it wasn't worth it. Well, I hope this video helped you in some way. Decide, you know, which one is worth trying or which is the better option for your lunch today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I do a food review. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen, where the review